No one saying, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, chill. Carrier, homie. The final piece of the puzzle. There she is, homie. We straight. The boss man's happy. Then we'll get moving. Man, this old bust ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your ass in the truck. Let's go. Sonora Freeway, past Paletto Bay. Hey, it's uh cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah. Scooch over here. Scoochin' in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. They ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man meat. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? And this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit. It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm gonna catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool's sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Son of a bitch. Hey, man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, this creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired from, from creeping? From that's funny, because, like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I used the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or... Where the other dudes at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck! Does Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit! Yeah, bummer. But you know, he wasn't a good guy he made out. That dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, uh, he lied to me. I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn, he fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that. And enough about me fucking. Don't do that. As a rule, maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I was a little out of control. But that ain't who I am for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIV. Brad? Who who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that makes a lot of fucking sense. Lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the black top making do? I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rocks. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and me. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol in this country. And a part of its mythology, like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. 
apart from hobo. Uh, maybe tired with hobo. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in haulers. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Ah, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real sick. Ooh, he's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, I don't want to reminisce. The wounds ain't healed. You such a delicate little no bitch, ain't you? Where your pussy at? What you got in there? Screw you! That's good. Let it out, homie. Go on, let it out. Vent. Oh shit, what's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. This is what happens when you fall asleep on the job. What you gonna do? Okay, shit. I got an idea. Keep driving. I'm gonna take the tricked out JB700 and get rid of the tail. Man, Molly said there'd be some hardware on board. Shit, we'll see. Hey, don't forget the headset, homie. We have reason to believe you were transporting stolen vehicles. Go over to the side of the road. They must have waited till we was out of town. Yeah, it looks like it, don't it? You were transporting stolen cars. Pull the packer to the side of the road. For the record, this falls under attorney-client privilege. We got that shipment, you know? Cops was all over it, but we lost it. Where exactly you at? Procopio truck stop. Get here soon. 
The lawyer chicks up at the Procopio truck stop. Procopio it is! Hey, I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Yeah, what he said. You taking care of. Head back to town. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we thought it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in this situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost car and pop motherfucker. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. <laughs> when a friend makes a mistake, huh? No. Uh, really? Man. Oh, no. What? Oh, so what? It's just me getting hurt? Is that funny? No, huh? man. Well, oh, fuck you! I'm gonna put you in the fucking ground, you laugh at me again. Man, calm down. I have met a lot of assholes in my life, but you? Well, you're not long for this world if this is the way you fucking act. You little jumped up motherfucker! Look, how about this, man? Calm down. It was funny at first, man. I made a mistake. Unfortunately, man, you failed. It was funny, all right? I apologize. I accept your apology, okay? All right, so let's hug it out. Mm -hmm. ah! Ah, right? You're so fucking you're funny, gotcha! Huh? Oh, fuck! No, I'm not funny! I'm a fucking asshole! Oh, fuck! I, I had a difficult childhood. Damn, man, you all right? I'm just, I'm just fucking on edge, you know? Look, I love you, right? But I would have. I would have. Fucking! Look, man. Lester said you had some information for us about Michael. Michael? Fuck Michael! I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all two, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before. But what the fuck happened in North Yankton? Somebody pinched him, man. Who? My friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped him. Yeah, and now it looks like they're holding him somewhere in the city. Yes. Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You want that piece of shit? That's your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me, all right? And chances are, if and when I see him, he's gonna be dead to everyone else as well. Hey, come on, bro. Don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. What was that? What? What was that? Uh, nothing. Ah! Mm, asshole! Everybody! Assholes! <sighs> hey, it's me. What did Trevor say? Man, Michael's being held by a Chinese crew. Because of Trevor. The irony isn't lost. I'm sending you an app for your phone. Michael's cell just came back online. This will track its signal. It'll work better the closer you get. Be careful. Sure. Told you! He ain't my g -Lap. Don't try to persuade me, you're not lovers! He's laughing at you, you fucking idiot! You're making a mistake! It costs a lot of money to track you down. 
I had to call in every favor yeah. I could in the Midwest. And then you kill several good uh, men. Good day, huh? Good day. Good fucking day to you! Kill him! Hey, Jeff hey, Phillips no. isn't coming. Whoa, 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 No, hey, hey! 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 I'm a valuable commodity! <laughs> Somewhere. How you get in? Yes, it's in love. Can we help you with something? You're in the wrong place. Hey, you are. Oh, 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 Michael! Where are you gonna go now? Michael! You got a hope? Need to stop Oh, white dude, that don't belong to you! Michael, you idiot man! Punta!
off. Clear the corridor first. Uh, I was just beginning to feel it all. How many of these fuckers are there? Oh! Oh! You want to get out of here? I want to get home. I'm gonna get you there. Ah! Hey, we picked up a tail. Shit. Don't worry, dog. We dropped it. How you like me with a gun in my hand? Is that it? We oh, oh, man, sorry about that.
I see you. Show. Sure. Hey, sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough already. All right. Well, listen, thanks. Look, man, before you go, what the fuck happened up there? I said, Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. Man, before all that, I'm talking about the fade. Trevor, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. Look, I made a judgment call. I don't know if it's the right one. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw it out. A future for me, for my family. I took it. You took it? Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. <sighs> Look, I know it sounds cold. I don't expect you to understand it. Not yet, but you will. When you got ties of your own. Look, you wake up one day, and, and your legs, they just give. You just can't run anymore. All right, man, look. You watch your back, all right? When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. Hey, you watch your back. You hear me? Oh, it ain't me he coming for. We straight. It's you, dog. It's you. Enjoying a little labor dispute. 
See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet, so... So you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Now, so anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Yeah, thank but... God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry. Because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some uh, evidence. And I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? No, oh, no, no, that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey! This is the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go! Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. Take us to the Bureau, parking garage entrance. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. The janitor. All right. And how's that going to get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. They're a particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. I found a guy about to clock off. Look at the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. And we'll follow him and see what we think. Sounds good. I really like your car, you know? Here we are. Let's wait for him. That's it? Uh, not our guy. So, what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. Here we go. That's not it. So what do we do? Now what can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. Something's coming. This is not the car we're looking for. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. Now, I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. Ooh, what's this? Nope.
That's the one. Stay behind him, but don't let him see you. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work-related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're going to need more than a janitor's license plate number. Now, let me work on some angles while you, uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. I just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. Come on. What do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation. And maybe his overalls and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate. He's pulling over. Stop down the road a ways. Go in and have a word. Harvey Molina. Hey, Marilyn. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Only when she needs something. Got another one of those, Harvey? Well, who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. You fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. I'll take any break I can get. Uh, hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey, I probably don't need to say this, but you don't play ball, I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Successful? Oh, yeah. We gotta go back to my office.
That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. based, so I thought Frank could tail him and take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much. Government contracts. License to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. No, we've just taken the wrong contracts. Ah, he's already here. What's the problem, dog? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, fat old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dog. It's either this or Dylan dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans. But they're not online anywhere, so I'm going to need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip. Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. 